What's going on, y'all? So let's What's going on, y'all? So we are back for another what it is video, okay? So, um, first of all, before I get into this, I hope everybody that's out here in Chicago and everywhere else that's having bad weather tonight, I hope y'all get home safely and y'all be j just be safe, okay? Because, you know, it's, it's a mess outside. It really is. Listen, bitch, I ordered some food, um, because I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't finna cook nothing, okay? Baby, I'm still waiting on my food. Mind you, I ordered it over an hour ago. Okay, I'm like, damn, is all the Grubhub people down or whatever? I just want a little bit of Taco Bell. Damn, I just want my little soft tacos. That's it, you know? But, you know, we'll figure that shit out. Um, Maybe that's God telling me, bitch, you don't need it. I only had a salad today. I am starving, okay? Like, salad and a piece of bread. Bread that I had for breakfast and salad that I had for lunch. Girl, I don't know what's on today. But anyway, um, also, before we get into this video, I want you to check out... um. If you're in the mood for some new music and you like indie artists or stuff like that, new artists or whatever, um, there's this artist named Adam Christopher. I want you guys to check him out on uh, Spotify. He has a new album out that's called Sketches. Um, you know, shout out to Adam. Good luck. And, um, you know, just support. Okay. I'm all about that support life too. You know, shout out to the ghetto view. All about support. But anyway, let's just get into this video too. Okay. So, um... The big thing that's been going on today, first of all, let me just put this out here. The big thing that, I, because I got a vent, I got a vent right quick. And I know there's going to be some shit that's going to be like, bitch, just wait till tomorrow. I know, but I hate waiting. I hate waiting, okay? And this is the thing. You don't do, <sighs> Abby Park Adidas um, rollout. First of all, Beyonce, let me tell you something. You and your team over there. Um, that was cute. That was real cute, you know, giving all your little celebrity peoples or whatever, something, you know, um, the little racks of the, uh, new collection or whatever. It's, it's nice or whatever. I can't fit the shit, okay? But it's cute or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, I wasn't even stressing over that, you know, because, um, giving me the rack would have been, um, you know, a waste. But, a part of me was, and I did put out a couple of tweets, I just said, you know, it would have been cuter if, you know, um... She would have given a lot more influencers, you know, at first I didn't know any influencers was getting, um, you know, as they call them, the influencers, you know, YouTuber, bloggers and stuff like that. People that, you know, really prevalent and big on social media, they would have got a little rack or whatever because that would have helped, you know, a lot of regular folks actually follow these people and regular folks follow celebrities, but you know, they actually relate a little bit more to these people who come from where they come from, you know, um, and that could have helped a little bit with the PR, whatever, because all I was seeing was these celebrities getting these racks and these boxes and shit. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Hmm. And then all of a sudden, we see a little sprinkle here, sprinkle there, a little bit of influencer. Some, one of the influencers that I know, she, she got uh, a little box, a box or whatever. So that was cute. So I was like, okay, bitch, you was listening. You was, you was snooping. And so you got the memo. So, okay, cool. I was fine with that. Whatever. Bitch, um, Abby Park was supposed to come out tomorrow, right? So on the online thing, it's supposed to come out today. You know what I'm saying? And the time was just, you know, I was getting different times. The first time that they said that uh, whoever told me that it was supposed to happen, the shit didn't happen at that time. Then it said at 3 o'clock. Bitch, before 3 o'clock, I just so happened to go refresh everything, the app, the um website, and they talking about some bitch you in the waiting room. I said, oh, a waiting room. Okay, okay, um, you know, beggars can't be choosers, like, bitch, whatever. Bitch was in that waiting room for over 30 minutes, damn near an hour, okay? I'm up here doing my work at work, you know, realizing that I'm damn near finished with this shit. And I just had a big old influx of goddamn books come in, new books that I had to process. And I'm like, I'm almost finished processing this shit, and we're still still in the waiting room. And then all of a sudden, it says, bitch, here you go. I said, all right, let me do what I gotta do. Baby, I just wanted some shoes. A freaking um beanie and some socks. That's all. That's that's all. I wanted a couple of pairs of sneakers, a beanie, and some socks. 
that's it. And I did tweet out. I said, what if, because this is like the pre-sale, okay? This ain't the whole thing. I feel like it's not, bitch. Girl, because if it is, I'm going to be really mad, but I'm pretty sure that it's not. They're going to release everything tomorrow, especially in the stores and all that stuff, too. Bitch, I was like, what is going on? I said, what if I get on this bitch and I waited this whole time and they don't even got my size, bitch, okay? I said, what the fuck? Girl, they ain't have my shoe size. They stopped at the half size before. I said on one of them. And then one of those shoes that I really wanted, they just didn't. I said, ain't this about a bitch? I said, this is some fucked up shit. I, I, I was mad. I was mad. I said, you need to tell me that I waited this long. And then I'm trying to put stuff in my cart, you know, and they talk about some verify this. You know, click on all the buses. Click on all crossroads. I hate when that shit come on. I spent like two, three minutes on that shit and it still didn't go. I said, you know what? I clicked the fuck off. I clicked the fuck off. I said, bitch, we'll try this shit again tomorrow. Okay. I'll let y'all go through the fumbles and, you know, do that first day shit or whatever and get the kinks out the way, bitch. I do that shit tomorrow I, I i was really messed up if you got your ivy park stuff today fuck you but you know it is what it is i'm gonna get mine eventually and then you know i have my outfit ready or whatever that i have you know gonna match my shit up with my shoes and shit like that you know what i'm saying all that shit came today i ain't got no shoes i ain't got no shoes for I said, ain't that about a bitch? Ain't that about a fucking bitch? But anyway, I just had to get that little vent out. But it is what it is. I already know. You know, tomorrow's going to be better. So it is what it is. Don't take it seriously. I just had to get that out. Anyway, let's get into this video. Video for real, for real. Young Jock was up in, uh, what was it, a Lyft or Uber? And these motherfuckers going to film him trying to make it seem as if, you know, it's a bad thing that he is out here driving for a ride-sharing company. Okay? And... My whole thing is, how dare you try to record this person? Now, see, I recorded some fuck shit. That's what I did. When you do some fuck shit, that's when you need to get recorded and needs to get called out. But this man is literally just minding his business, picking you up, giving you a service that he did not have to give. And you up here talking about some damn, times must be really hard for you to be, um, you know, doing this. Or you must have really fallen off or whatever he said in the video. And you thinking that that shit was going to get you some props or whatever. Everybody came down on that ass because at the end of the day, he is out here trying to make an honest living. Do you not understand that this man ain't got no song on the radio? Who label is he on? Okay. Um, music ain't gonna always pay the bills at this point. When these old artists come out and they don't making music no more, they have to find other avenues and other ways of getting money. Okay? That's why a lot of people work behind the scenes. That's why a lot of people open up businesses and invest and doing all this stuff so they can have their money, make money for them so that they can perceive what's gonna happen in the future and they can be all set. Other times, you just have to get you a little side job, a side gig. That motherfucker got so many goddamn kids that he needs to feed. So I'm glad that he out here doing what he got to do to take care of his household. And you got the nerve to shame this honest working man. Bitch, get out of here just because it's young job. That was the same thing that y'all did when um, Roscoe Dash was out here doing driving for Uber or whatever. And y'all tried to do the same thing to him. And I was like, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. They ain't out here robbing. They ain't out here stealing. They ain't out here killing. They ain't out here selling drugs or whatever. They literally out here doing a legal job and you're trying to shame and put down this man. Might have time's falling. Bitch, how has time fallen for you? Because, bitch, you was never put on. Okay? You did this shit trying to go viral and you went viral in a negative way. Fuck you. Anyway, um... Some good news. Insecure is coming back finally for season four, April 12th. Okay. Um, sad news. Watchmen. Y'all know Watchmen that come on HBO with Regina King. That shit was so damn good and I'm so mad. Like, if they would have kept it going, season two would have been something. Especially after the ending of season one when uh, she ate the egg and everything. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, he the transferred it all the way to her. She about to be, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? And um, the director said, the creator of it said, bitch, I ain't even feeling enthused for it. And it is what it is, so I don't really want to do it, and therefore it ain't going to be no season two. And since he didn't want to come back, HBO said ain't going to be no season two. I said, ain't that about a bitch? You get our hopes up with a good-ass show, and now we can't even get a season two. I'm just glad that the first season was really worth it. It really was, you know. Um, 
if you watch the Wu-Tang uh, show that's on Hulu, that got renewed for season two, which it needed to be. Because I really would have been upset if that would have got canceled because that was really good. Um, so that was that with those um, updated shows. Um, Cory Booker, you know, he was one of the presidential Democratic candidates for this presidential race that's going to happen, well, about to happen. And he just one of the recent people to drop out of the race. Am I surprised? No. And let me be quite honest. You may call me ignorant or whatever, but at this point, I have not been watching any of the debates. Okay, I will do that shit when it comes down to the last two. Who are we supposed to be, um, who going against who to be the actual candidate? Because at this point, no one that I, and I read up on it and stuff, no one is moving me. No one is moving me to chorus or anything. I'm not firmly on anybody's side at this point. And I'm like, I don't know what they can do to get me on their side. It's going to be like, bitch, I'm going to just vote for whoever running against Trump. That's what it feel like. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want it to be that way. I really don't. I want to have confidence in the person that is supposed to be our president. You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh, it just, am I the only one that feel that way? Put it down in the comments. Um... So last week, I spoke about the Azriel and Jocelyn, Joycelyn Savage fight. Girl, they released some footage of what actually happened after that camera went down when she was on live, when Azriel was on live, okay? Baby, they was out there in that hallway, and uh, Azriel beat that ass, okay? Azriel beat that ass, as we already kind of figured. And then um, she's back home with her family. This is just in case y'all wanted to know, because I'm kind of tired of them, you know. And it just... Although I see and I believe some fucked up shit happened. I'm glad that it said that she's seeking some therapy, some counseling or whatever. And I'm glad that she is back with her family. But they put out family pictures and all this stuff. It just seemed a little bit too easy to uh, smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like no humps in the roll or whatever. Bitch, let me find out these motherfuckers didn't put in a band in for um, pitching a goddamn reality show. Don't do no shit like that. Don't do no shit like that. Okay. Because that's going to remind me of when um, Whitney Houston passed away. And then they did On Our Own with the Houstons. Girl. And put Bobby Christina on there. I was so disgusted by that. I reviewed it. And I talked about it. And I watched it. But I was still over it. Because I knew it was going to be some mess. I knew it was going to be some mess. And it was. It really was. Pat fucking Houston. Bitch. Hmm. I'm hungry. Anyway. Moving on from that, speaking of Whitney Houston's congratulations are in order. It is unfortunate that Whitney Houston nor Notorious B.I.G. are not here to receive this in person, but both of them have been inducted into the 2020 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. To be quite honest with Whitney Houston, it should have been happening, but, you know, who am I to say? Who am I to say? But um, congratulations are in order. Uh, Takashi 6 9 out here asking the judge, if he can do his sentence at home. Because where he's at. Is too much of a risk on his life. Baby boy. You should have thought about that. A. Before you did the goddamn crime. And B. Before you decided to want to snitch on the whole fucking gang. And everybody and their mama that is associated with it. Okay. What did you expect to happen? You thought you was going to get some special privilege. Bitch you better punch somebody and start a fucking fight. To get put up in solitary confinement for two fucking years. As soon as you get out. Punch another motherfucker. You better do what Dre did on power. Okay. I mean you don't want to get torched up in the cell or whatever. But you know what I'm saying. Um. No, you don't get no special privilege. First of all, your white skin is popping out. Your white privilege is popping out. And I know he Hispanic, but your white privilege, there are white Hispanics and black Hispanics or whatever, you know. And um, it was popping out. And I was like, how dare you? No, you're going to sit there. You're going to eat your prison food. And you're going to serve this sentence. That's what is going to happen. Okay? Okay. Moving on from that. Um, Method Man, speaking of power, Method Man and joins Mary J. Blige on the little spinoff that they're having book of what is it power book two ghost I'm here for it I'm here for it I will be watching it of course I gotta check it out to see what it's all about to see if I'm gonna review it nine out of tens I'm probably am gonna review it um eh, you know power at this point uh, Power is just such a disappointment. It really is. Like, 
in a sense that I don't like the way that the the I don't like the way these last episodes are going. And I understand trying to fill in holes here here and fill in gaps there. But to be quite honest, do we need to know exactly what each person did who's a suspect did leading up to the shooting of this man? Okay, we don't really need to know that. Just tell us who shot this man and then give us their story as the reason why they did that. That's what they should have did. We don't need to have an episode on this person to eliminate them and this person to eliminate them. No, we could have closed closed this up. This is lazy. I just felt it's really lazy. Uh, I would have went about it a whole other way. But yeah, y'all tell me how y'all feel about that. Um, are y'all digging power into what they're doing or... You're just like, what is this? Um, Timbaland, Timbo, you know, he said that he lost 130 pounds after overcoming an addiction, addiction, addiction. There you go. Um, to pain kills, pain pill, uh, killers, you know what I'm saying? To pills. He said back in 2001, he, um, got a root canal and they gave him some oxy, uh, cotton. Gave him some oxycodone and some perks. I said, bitch, now I got my root canal a couple of years ago, bitch. And, and look at, and I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't getting no drugs like that. Bitch, they gave me some penicillin. Okay, penicillin to let the infection go down if I had one to make sure it was all the way out of my system or whatever. And, um, gave me some over counter shit. And they ain't give me no, um, you know, other shit like that. I said, damn, what type of root canal was he having? That was, that was some shit. Like, they had to go dig deep, bitch. But, um, yeah, you know, and then it got bad and nasty after the divorce that he had, which was messy or whatever, and he was being investigated by the IRS and all this stuff, so all this just come in on him, so he just started taking these pain pills. He don't even know how many he was taking up um, each day or whatever, but he did have a dream that death was near, and so, you know, that just made him want to change his life. And I'm glad that he did what he had to do to change his life to get on the right path, you know. Um, put them pills down, put them pills, goddamn down. Okay. Put them down. Um, you on Netflix has been renewed. Have y'all been watching the circle? Y'all got me caught up in that shit, bitch. Y'all really do. Y'all got me caught up in it. And, um, thank you. Somebody finally picking up my stuff. Girl, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay. I ain't i listen. Somebody gonna be like, damn, bitch. Listen, bitch. It is, it's late. I'm hungry. Anyway, um, and I usually don't eat this late. I really don't. But, um, <clears throat> cause I'm trying to do better. You know what I'm saying? Get back on, uh, uh, more structured meal type thing so I don't want to eat past a certain hour or whatever you know what I'm saying and I've been doing good too with the sweets department because I haven't had any sweets in a minute which is really really not like me because that's one of my vice like having some chocolate or whatever yeah yeah so I, I, I like that I like that progress progress taking it slowly as I go you know what I'm saying I ain't trying to do too much but I'm just trying to do just enough and just right you know what I'm saying but um anyway what was I talking about you got renewed the circle. Have y'all been watching that? Have y'all been watching that? Something, uh, you know, it was an interesting concept. I would have got irritated midway in talking to everybody through, you know, social media. But then again, I probably would have been okay because that's what I do now. I mean, a lot of us probably would have been able to, um, you know, flourish throughout the house or whatever. You know, I think it was a very interesting concept, unique to be quite honest. And one particular person that's there that I, Joey, he irks me for some reason. It's his voice that irks me. He's not a bad guy, but he irks me. I haven't watched the last two episodes that are up yet, but um, I'm going to get into it. Y'all need to get into it. Y'all told me about you. Now I'm telling you about the circle. And I know everybody talking about the Aaron Hernandez, um, you little docu-series that's up. It's like three episodes or whatever. Um, yeah. I, I started watching, I'm on the second episode, but if you have, um, watched, and, and then tomorrow on, I forget what channel it is, they're doing this whole three hour episode, three hour little documentary on Aaron Hernandez and what made him a killer and all this stuff. And if you don't know who he is, he's the football killer, football player for the Patriots that, you know, got convicted of murder. And, um, 
and then he wound up, you know, killing his committing suicide in jail. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, and how CTE played a part in it. And I know some people are feeling a type of way because it feel like, you know, they're focusing on the fact that he might be or had a gay lover or whatever. And truth be told, that probably played a part, but I don't think that was the main part of the reason why he was the way that he is. That motherfucking head was fucked up. His head was fucked up. And I'm talking about his brain. CTE ate his ass up, okay? Like... Ugh, it was just a mess. It was just a mess. But, um, you know, it's nothing really new that I'm finding out as I'm watching it on my own that I'm finding out that I haven't seen the other documentaries that they have put on. Um, Because y'all know I like documentaries and stuff. And they have a lot of documentaries on him that's been on TV. Um, So, yeah, it's interesting. I say check it out if you really want to. Um, I did watch The Fall From Grace. I'm not going to give it away because it just came out. Fall From Grace, the Tyler Perry thing. All I'm going to say is... Um, it was cute. It could have been better, but for a Tyler Perry thing, it was cute. And let me just tell you something that twist, it's a twist at the end. It's a twist at the end. And I wasn't seeing it until, you know, like almost halfway through a little over halfway through. I was like something about this ain't right. It don't make no sense or whatever. And I was like, how did that happen? I'm still confused. It left me confused. Like when Taraji, how did Taraji get on the boat? I was confused as to how that shit happened. <laughs> and you want to know what else confused me? Why the fuck them wigs was looking fucked up? Tyler wig was fucked up. Um, Makai wig was fucked up. Bitch, I was like, why y'all do that? Why y'all do that? But other than that, I say just check it out for yourself. Um, congratulations is in order to Kiki Wyatt. She gave birth to her 10th child with her, um current husband. Uh, it's um, a baby boy named Kariya. Kiraya Darren. Darren. You know, so congratulations. Um, I wanted to touch on this whole story about this 25-year-old girl who went to the hospital and she was complaining of chest pains and she was having shortness of breath. Now, usually when you want to get seen, and somebody told me this, and you want to get seen in the ER and don't want to wait so long, just tell them that you having chest pains, and tell them that you can't breathe, or something like that, and they'll try to bump you up, and, um, you know, be, make you a priority, now, the fact that she said some shit like this, and she was still sitting in that ER for hours, now, I've been in the ER, and I know how it is to be there for hours, for hours, okay, and then when you actually get seen, to still be there hours later, that, that, that shit is irritating, and whatever is going on, it could have, like, bitch, anybody, I'm surprised nobody else has ever collapsed or we don't hear more stories about people collapsing and dying in the ER or whatever. But she was, like, basically giving updates on her social media about how, you know, she came in there for shortness of breath and chest pains and, you know, um, she been there for hours waiting or whatever and she wound up leaving trying to go to another clinic and an uh, actual clinic clinic. And once she got, I think, in a parking lot or somewhere, she wound up passing out and they had to take her back to that hospital and then she wound up dying from what was going on and they said from the x-ray the only thing that they found was that she had an enlarged heart but I don't know if they did an autopsy yet but you know that's the enlarged heart that she got from you know when she gave birth with her son and that's the same similar situation with my mom you know she her heart became enlarged with my um sister my my I ain't I ain't I don't want to make it sound bad, but this is what happened. When my little sister was born, that's when a lot of my mama's health problems came through because, you know, it was a later in life pregnancy. I mean, she was 37 years old. They call it a geriatric pregnancy. Um, her heart became enlarged and she had, she developed stational diabetes that turned into regular diabetes. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's just a lot. You know, the shit that women go through and it's just putting a focus on the fact that Black folks are most likely to spend longer times in the waiting room for a lot of things, and especially in the hospital. And it is very much unfortunate. You know, 
you exasperate, is it exasperate? You make the problem worse when you're waiting, and then you're probably just nervous, and your blood pressure going up, and all this stuff, and you know, and then for them to finally see you and say, basically, ain't nothing wrong. So you mean to tell me you had me sitting out here all this damn time, and you telling me ain't nothing wrong? But I'm telling you that it's something wrong. And I've been seeing this up in a few TV shows where they have been putting on the front forefront, you know, black women, especially when they're giving birth, and they're trying to tell them afterwards that something is not right something is not right and then the doctor ignoring them and the consequences of what happened where either death follows or something else medically fucked up happens you know what i'm saying so it just needs to be better protocol it needs to be a better system it needs to be more doctors that actually pay attention to their patients and not just um, disregard them because of their race or their gender or whatever you know what i'm saying and because that surely did not have to happen she should still be here um trick daddy got arrested over the weekend because that motherfucker was high um and driving into signs and he was drunk okay he was coming back from a club and all that shit and they found cocaine and a dollar bill now people was making fun of him because of his uh hairline and all this stuff or whatever and you know uh somebody on his facebook page put out a little message talking about you know people want to make fun of me they don't even know uh what i got and then somebody gonna put on there saying you making fun of people and you don't even understand the situation and all this shit he this man got lupus or whatever trying to make us sympathize and here's the thing don't tell nobody that you got medical issues or whatever when you refuse to go to the doctor and get that shit fixed up you know or get medic medicine for it you don't need uh, and i know a lot of people go a lot of like holistic and natural remedies or whatever but you're not doing that your natural remedy is weed and cocaine you told us that on an interview that you did on the breakfast club you're not taking medical, um, so, cause there's no reason that you should be looking the way that you look. Trick Daddy looks so fucking unhealthy and he scares me to the fact that I feel like, you know, one day we gonna get a report that says that he not here no more. Cause he looks totally unhealthy. You know, take care of yourself, especially a black man. A lot of black men refuses to go to the doctor. Oh, oh, like it makes me mad. It really do. But, um, y'all tell me how y'all feel about that. Um, shout out to Akon. He finalized paperwork on trying to make Akon City happen in Senegal. You know, he's been doing a lot for, um, you know, especially his African people. You know, so shout out to Akon. Um, Lori Harvey, you know, she got into that little hit and run accident uh, some months ago last year. And now she's finally being charged for it. And she could pay his face possibly up to a year in prison do i think she's gonna get jail time no i don't most likely community service a little bit of probation if that but she do need to uh get some you know she needs to pay for what she did that's what she needs to do okay i was trying to figure out i'm and the word is right on my tip of my tongue and i can't say but she needs to pay for what she did for her consequences reap the consequences of what she did um Chucky, the TV series is coming to Sci-Fi Channel. Are y'all looking forward to it? I'm going to check it out. It's just like um, when they did The Mist. The Mist that they did for the TV show, it was actually kind of cute. But they didn't renew it. So, you know, just don't bring that um Chucky with the facelift. I don't want that Chucky. That Chucky, I seen that movie finally. And I was just like, what the fuck is this shit? Anyway. Raz B ass got arrested, you know, um, and released on five thousand dollar bond for what? DUI. He was drunk as shit in Burbank, California, and um, you know, he got pulled over and he told the officer that he was lost and that he had smoked and drank earlier, so that was what was going on. And I said, Y'all got too much money and y'all can't get nobody to drive y'all asses or get you put your ass in a goddamn Uber. God damn. God damn, okay? Y'all be wasting money on these DUI cases. Jesus Christ. Mariah Carey, the Neptunes, and the Isley Brothers will be inductees to the 2020 Songwriters Hall of Fame. And that is a congratulations from both of their, all of their parts, okay? You know, that's such a good look. Demi Lovato will be singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Truth be told, I forgot all about the Super Bowl. I forgot who was performing at the Super Bowl until somebody put out... I think the article or whatever post from um, B Sky saying that it was some issues going on between J Lo team and um, 
Shakira team and they not getting the stuff together right or whatever. It's just some contention going on between the camps or whatever. Girl, I ain't looking forward to this. I wasn't looking forward to the Super Bowl halftime show last year and I wasn't looking forward to it this year. It is what it is, girl. Uh, and rest in peace to The Rock's father, WWE superstar, Rocky Soul Man Johnson. He passed away yesterday, I believe, at 75 years old. Um, that's his daddy, and he lived just like his daddy. You know, where he rest in peace, for real, for real. And Wendy Williams, he, she done finally got her ass in trouble to the point that she had to fucking apologize to the cleft community okay what you do not do regardless of what you're trying to do and what you think is funny or whatever you do not make a joke out of people's disabilities okay you don't do that she was up there talking about Joaquin Phoenix and how you know he has a scar from his cleft that he had um closed up or whatever and you 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 I'm not even gonna demonstrate it you trying to demonstrate it and all this stuff you don't do shit like that okay you, we live in a sensitive area um period and you just don't, you, you, you can't do all this stuff that you usually do, all right? That Wendy Williams shit ain't going to work. They used to work on a radio show where you can get away with all this bullshit. You're on TV. More people are watching you. White people are watching you. And therefore, a lot of sensitive asses. That's what it is. But that was rude. That was rude as shit. And I'm glad they came for her ass and made her ass apologize and, and donate money. You know? Hold on one second. Hello? All right, I'll be right there. Thank you so much. Girl, that's my fool. I will see y'all later. That's all I really had to say. Okay, y'all be good. Y'all be safe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.